Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, it's time for me to show you how to use the input and output chest in the most simplest way. So, this works really good if, if you don't want to auto farm with an auto clicker or if you just have a bunch of wood lying around and this one chest can't fit all the wood you're dropping all at the same time. Well, no need to worry because how this works is if the chest is full, like like that see it just pushes out money but only when it's full so let's say i'm gonna put wood in there oh right right um forgot to tell you this only works for the same item so since there's only money in there you're gonna have to drop money like that see it's gone but that's because it dropped to the other side it's see it's disappearing as you can see right here, the money is slowly going away and it's just dropping off there. So this is really good if you don't want to auto click your farm. And it just sto stores more space, like, let's do this. And when you want to make a curve, just add this, just like so, and do that. And put another input out per chest, left conveyor. And just keep repeating the same thing, alright? Until you end it with a um, normal chest. And then with this, you can just drop as many wood as you want. Remember, this is this is more effective with like wood and if you're too uh not lazy, but if you have other stuff to do and you don't have time for auto farming with the auto clicker, this is the right thing to do. Alright. And it, and it stores extra. It stores extra. We'll just keep dropping wood until it fills up. As you can see, it's passing it on. As the wood touches this uh, chest, it's passing on to the other chest. And it's going to fill up, and it's going to go around here, fill up, go over here, and fill up. So you just drop as many as you want. Doesn't even matter. I mean, they'll drop too much or it's gonna despawn, of course. <laughs> That's just logic. And then, yeah, you can just go to the portal and kill some wizard lizards. Maybe you get a page or so, get that spell book, sell it for 10 mil. <laughs> and then while you're farming those lizards, you go back to your island. Pro you probably got a page from your farming spree. And your chests are being filled up. Of course, there's a money bag in there. Why wouldn't there be a money bag? There. If there's one little item in there, that's a problem. It's not gonna work. You have to remove that item in order for it to work. And that's pretty gay, too, because someone could just grief it really easily. Like, they could just drop this right here. I mean, probably not right there, but, like, more over here. Wow, this is filling up. They can just drop that there and it won't work. So make sure if you're gonna invite a bunch of people, make sure you have like protection layers. Like maybe some glass so people can see how this works. It's pretty cool. This is the more simpler way to use it, you know? You pretty much want something like this. A bunch of loops. That ends right here like... Um... First, you want to start off with the original smelter, the first smelter you place, then just follow up with a bunch of loops. And once you have that, just add second layers of this stuff. Going through here, dropping on the original smelter, and just keep stacking up, stacking up. Same with that side, just stack up and stack up. Yeah, that's very simple to do. It's kind of iron expensive, but hey, if you if you're not going to auto-clicker farm, this is a good way, so you can do other work, come back, collect the iron while it's passing through the crates, ziggity zaggity, boom boom boom, that's how you do it. That's an example with the iron smelters. Now I'll be showing you guys how to make a really good auto farm with this system in another video. This is just a simple guide, alright? See ya guys. Sub and like.